Let me know when y'all start on the pool. Quicker y'all start on that, the better. Sure, I guess I, I call you. You didn't do it. Yes, sir. The desires of the heart, according to your perfect will, give healing wherever it's needed and strength among those that are weak. Stand by them, be with them, keep them preserved. That your peace may be upon them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. say that to Cape Town, or rather to Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, Brother uh, Ron Skaleski, can you put the church in Cape Town up? God bless us with another temple in South Africa. Um, Many people often believe Pastor Gino Jenny's ministry is all about coming out against other ministers and calling other pastors out. This is one particular video that proved to you that all behind the scene, Pastor Gino Jenny is really working for God and is taking territories for the kingdom of God. In this video, Pastor Gino Jenny is about to show you on video the new property that the first church of our lord jesus christ have bought that is the new temple in cape town south africa which is yet to be dedicated within this year 2024. i don't have to roam around and try to find the church that god started i found it god put me in it and God be my help, I'm here to stay. Now I want to say that to Cape Town, or rather to Johannesburg, South Africa, to the first church there, as you know, God bless us with a big, beautiful, large temple, and I was scheduled to dedicate that temple March of next year. But something happened <laughs> to block that schedule. Uh, Brother uh, Ron Skaleski, can you put the church in Cape Town up? God bless us with another temple in South Africa. That's in Cape Town, South Africa. We have a large temple in Johannesburg. And God bless us to buy this temple in Cape Town, South Africa. We can see it about six or seven hundred. Do you see the way God is working? So, amen. So, besides me dedicating the church in Johannesburg and flying back and going back again, we'll just wait till we finish doing this one. That way, when I fly to Johannesburg and bomb the city with the scriptures, then I can fly over to Cape Town. Dedicate that temple, then I make my way home. So God bless us again with another big, beautiful temple in South Africa. This is the Lord's doing. That's it. God remember, and so do I, when He showed me this. Many came in and tried to turn me away from what God said to me over 45 years ago. And they wonder why I wouldn't pay them no mind. In fact, this should serve as a lesson to those of you who continuously spread the idea or the imagination that Pastor Genogenes is all about talking down on his fellow ministers and all about trying so hard to bring down his fellow ministers listen in matthew chapter 28 and the verse 20 or from the verse 19 to the latter part of the verse where jesus commanded his disciples to go ye therefore into all nations preaching baptizing people teaching them and making them disciples making them of disciples of christ until his coming now pastor genogenes is also into the same business just because of the fact that we see him criticizing calling out other ministers he thinks they are in error he thinks they are contradicting scriptural ordinances does not mean that he is 
just after them and he has made himself even though as God. That has never been the agenda. Now, the church in Cape Town, South Africa is yet to be dedicated. And as you listen to him, I don't think that he is going to make it. But well, let's see what happens. As he just said, this particular church is going to be dedicated within the month of March 2024. So that is exactly what is happening. But that idea, that kind of imagination that many people sell to others because they don't like the ministry and what Pastor Genogenes represents or stands for, they consistently criticize this man thinking that it is all about talking down on others. Others even say he makes himself as though he is more holier than the other ministers. That has never been the agenda. As you can see, on behind the scenes, this man is literally taking territories for God. He is winning souls. He is depopulating the kingdom of the enemy whilst he keeps on populating the kingdom of heaven. And so that is exactly what is happening. Now, this should just be a lesson to anyone that watch Pastor Genogenes and to those that do not like him, that it is not all about con him condemning other ministers. It is not all about him wishing or praying that other ministers should fall so he prosper. That has never been so. Now, anybody who is a student of scripture and really does understand the importance, the importance of unity will come to a conclusion that body of Christ must stand united. Even Jesus said, a kingdom that is divided can never stand. And so a whole minister like Pastor Genogenes understand kingdom principles. He knows the power of kingdom unity. He understands kingdom agreement. And so in most cases, when you see him condemning anything, though he is not perfect, we should not entirely conclude that out of envy, out of arrogance, out of this self-pride is the reason for whatever he does in the ministry. That has never been the case. The man is a genuine man of God. I believe so. Now, so if he condemns other people or condemns anything he sees that is wrong, we should not entirely conclude that it is all about name, it is all about attention, and it is all about relevance. That is never the agenda. We all know that in the book of Matthew, I mean, Matthew 28, verse 19, up to the latter part of the verse, everybody knows that at this particular time, Jesus was almost about ascending to the Father. And this is one of the greatest commandments or one of the greatest commissions that after his ascension to the Father, they must make sure they go into every nation preaching the gospel, baptizing people, teaching them, and making them a disciple of Christ. It is one of the greatest commission on earth that every believer must see to obey and must see to win souls. And so it is one of the greatest things that Pastor Genogenes has done. In fact, if you study the nation South Africa at the moment, it is one of the nations with the highest rate of crime in every second in South Africa, it is reported that a rape case happens and robbery case happens and other atrocities and destructions take place in South Africa. So there is a need for many, many evangelists and many, many ministers to invade such a nation, to pray and to also to minister the gospel to the people that if God is willing that there may be peace, there may be unity, and that there may be freedom in that nation. And so the gospel is much needed in South Africa more than anywhere because of the condition of the nation at the moment. That this is a nation that in every second, there is a crime taking place somewhere in the nation. And so this brings us to a place where you and I have to understand that there is a proper need for the kingdom and for the activities of the work of Christ in the nation of South Africa. Beloved, let us keep praying and 
let us pray for Pastor Gino Genis as we remember the entire first church of our Lord Jesus Christ and those that have been part of the ministry of Pastor Gino Genis as we remember the global world, the body of Christ around the globe, that God would strengthen them, God will be by them, that God would energize them, God will set them on fire to do that which he has called them for. It is not a joke, beloved, especially in these particular times. The seasons, the times we live in, it is hard and it's not easy. It is not a joke at all. So when a man decides to work for God in this type of season or days, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of commitment. Beloved, let's keep standing with the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. See you again in my next episode. This is Abel Global Prayers. And once again, congratulations to Pastor Gino Genis and the entire first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. We wish you well. We stand with you and we pray that the Lord will keep a stand, the Lord will keep expanding his church and his mission that millions of souls shall be saved for his glory. See you again in my next episode. Peace.